Yeah, we just got pulled over, guys. We got. Damn, he fell for it. Damn. Well, he that was a good sting, huh? No, no, no. Hola there. How's it going? How good, man. Wait, is this your car? No, nah, it's his. That's my dad. Okay, right on. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, the reason why I pulled you over is because I was observing at a stop sign right there at West Laredo and Wall, and I did not see your vehicle come to a stop when it came to the stop sign. I don't know if you see the closest stop sign at the intersection. <coughs> um, it is a four-way stop all the way around, but that is why I pulled you over. Um, that's what I'm doing right now. Do you happen to have a valid driver's license? Yeah, I have everything. Okay. What's good, man? You fell for it, dude. Sorry, sorry the, the rigs make it hard to hear. That's good. I like that you fell for it. What's that? You fell for it. What? You fell for our sting. We're doing stings on cups now. Sting? Yeah, so you got you, you got the thing this time. Okay. Yeah, that's good, man. Okay. Any other day. That's good. All right, perfect. And you're the uh, registered owner? No, my dad. Your dad is? Okay. You're from Los Angeles? Yeah, I've never been here that way. Never this city. Okay, okay, cool. All right. All right, give me one second. There's going to be nothing wrong with your license that you know of. No suspensions, nothing like No, that. nothing. Okay. All right, Clear. Let me, let me run this. Just like three warrants on it. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Oh, man, this is hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, now, guys, like, share, and subscribe to... Uh, no, we're actually in front of the church. Uh, St. Teresa's Church. We were planning on doing stings on police. So we just find a new way to do stings on them to see what's up. So he bit it. He bit it. Let me tell you that. And then he's on the radio. Yeah, let me cut this off. No, we're, we're here in Shafter, bro. We're doing a sting on cops. So um, they fell for it. We're, we're working on a new way to get cops to pull those over. So I guess we found one this time. Okay, hey, sign this boy right there. Oh man, it's gonna be awesome. You think you get a ticket? Maybe. Let's see if he gives you a ticket. He, he, I don't know why this guy's not nice. He's nice though, he's nice because he's on camera. Here in Shafter, guys. Shafter Police Department. <laughs> I'm in silence, boy. Oh, this is lovely. I'm gonna tell you this. Right away, like, like, remember I told you? Yeah, that's it. That was time. a good way. Yeah. So, yeah, now we're working on stings. Next time I'm going to dress like a hobo and I'm just going to be working with a cart. And, and yeah. Nah, I'm not trying to get copyrighted if I play a song, so. It's needed, however, it is noted that it has been an acceptable course of employment. And isn't this down, guys? Is this in a different radio? What the hell? I'm supposed to get that. There you go. Oh, he's using that phone. Look, he doesn't want to use he, he doesn't want to use the uh, the uh, radio. So I'm gonna have to follow your request that phone conversation. You want to go to the police department right now? Yeah. Yeah, because he's not supposed to be using the phone. His radio is perfectly working, so he'll learn today not to use his phone. So actually, let me call Shafter PD because he's using the phone. Hold on, let me call Shafter PD. Six six one seven four six six three four one. Let me call him real quick, and I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> you guys want me to put him on speaker? Shafter Police, Renee speaking. Hey, Renee. Um, uh, this is Casey Camera Boy, bro. Hey, dude. How are you? Hey, um, uh, Mr. Romero, right now is using his phone to make a call. We're on a stop. Uh, can you make sure you guys uh, record the conversation because his radio is working fine and according to you guys' policy, if your radios are working, you guys are not supposed to be using the phone. So he's 
on a stop right now and you said he's on his phone? Yeah, he's on his phone. Uh, we're on a stop. But we actually got pulled over, but he's on the phone. He's probably giving out our information and stuff. So I want you to record his conversation because I'm a public record that. Okay, oh, so he's stopping you. Yeah, yeah, but he's using, okay. but since I have a police scanner, he doesn't want to use it. But right. your you guys' policy states that you guys are only allowed to use your phone if your radio are not working. And apparently his okay. radio is working, so... I want the conversation. Well, talking to, because I mean, here the, the the if he's talking to somebody, it's not the phone call didn't come here to dispatch, so he's probably calling uh, somebody else directly, a supervisor or something. But uh, the, he's not. Uh, oh, he didn't call the department. Here, at least in this front office. Oh, interesting. So, is there any way I can get that phone conversation? Uh, it depends. It depends who he's calling. Like I said, uh, uh, I don't know if like a cell phone, the cell, because you know how there are city cell phones. Yeah. I think he's I using know, his like city a phone. phone. The cell phone, if those are recorded, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure. I think he's he's using his his. No, nah, he's not using his personal phone. I'm sure he's using his work phone. Yeah, because I don't know. I mean, if he's calling somebody here and uh, an office phone, it'll be recorded. But I think if they're calling each other, cell phone to cell phone, I don't think those are. Those uh, those aren't man. That sucks. I think I, I don't think so. I know, because, I mean, he knows already that I got a police scanner, so he doesn't, doesn't want to use it, too, so we can listen right, to what he's right. saying about us. You know how we work, man. Yeah, 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 definitely. Oh, yeah. All right, man. Hey, stay safe, brother. Uh, man, Orale, hey, hey it, it's actually live right now. If you want to tune in and watch it, it's going to be awesome, I okay. think. Yeah, Orale, we'll pues. All right, bro. Later. You, too. <laughs> I call the police department, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that town, guys? Let me tell you that. Shutter polypupu. All of there. Alright, so what was that? I have an SR22 everything. Oh, you have an SR22? Yeah, everything in place. Okay, okay. Well, hey, that's suspended before I already fixed it. Okay, well, the DMV is still telling me to give you the notification not to take away your license because you can still drive it. Um, according to the DMV, you can still drive it for employment purposes. Um, yeah. So that's what they're saying right now. I don't know if you need to talk to them about that. Yeah, that's so, what I have it for. Okay, so I do have to give you this little piece of paper just letting you know that you've been notified of it. Okay. That's all this is. So I'm gonna give you this real quick with this pad. That way you can sign it, and then I'll give you a copy of it. Okay. And all it's saying is that you are aware that it's suspended. Is he getting a ticket? Though? That's gonna be separate. Yes. Okay. Suspended? How they would like have insurance? SR22, and they said everything's fixed. The DMV is still saying that it's not. They sent. So I have to call the ones I'm paying right now. You have to call the what? The SR22. I have to call. I would call the DMV and see why they're still putting your license as suspended. Oh, okay. Because that's I'm beyond, paying that's, since a month. Yeah. This whole year I've been paying every month. Because yeah. literally what they do is they put it in the system. Yeah. And then we pretty much have to obey their request for us to notify you that your license is suspended. Okay. And then they put basically all the authority codes right next to it and then the date that's affected. Okay. So you'd have to call them and ask them about that. that. I'm gonna call them because I'm paying for my insurance. Yeah, yeah. For, yeah. Like I said, I don't know why they're still putting that in. If you're already done, maybe yeah, they have the to guy clarify told me that. Yeah, fix it. <clears throat> okay. All right. So I'm gonna give you this to sign. All this is is just saying you've been notified verbally, and then, uh, like I said, you still get to keep your license, of course. And then I'm gonna give you a ticket. It's gonna be a citation for the not stopping at the stop sign, which is why I pulled you over in the first place. Okay. This is just what came up in the records check. Okay. Okay. So as far as this goes. For the verbal notification, you're just going <clears> to <throat> sign at the X right here, and then I'll give you your copy of it. Like, share, subscribe to Casey Camera Boy. What's that? Oh, I'm telling her. Oh, I got you. <laughs> and then as far as the ticket goes, sign inside the red box. What you're doing is you're either agreeing to handle the stop sign violation um, with the Kern County Superior Court by 10, or sorry, 221, 2020, 830, or arrive in court. By 2020. What year? 2021. This year. This year. Yeah. Oh, be this year. One month. What's that? What month? Two twenty-one. So January, mm -hmm. February. If I can't come, how would I be able to do it? Cause it's far. You can call the Kern County Court right here. The phone number and the. Uh, I could address. just pay it. How much is it though? Just come and pay me pennies, they, bro. They don't give us the pricing. That's okay. through the court. Yeah. Pay me pennies, yeah. bro. That, there's literally no listing right here of pricing. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I got a bank. I got a business account, so I get pennies for life. <laughs> hey, that's good. That's a good point. Hey, I'm glad you're here, not Hayes, because Hayes would have taken us out and touched our penises, because <laughs> oh, he wow. likes touching. He touched my penis twice last time, so and my ass too. So I'm glad you're here and you didn't take us out. Ooh.
Sorry, that was very disgusting. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to give you this clipboard with both things signed. I want to give you one at a time, that way it doesn't carbon copy to the wrong thing. So go ahead and sign right here in the red spot. Oh, that's a cool little board with your name. Thank you. It's Christmas. Can I have it? <laughs> you said? Then I'm not going to have anything. Right. I'll be out of board. Get another one. Hey, what were you were using it, your phone be, right now? Sorry, it'll be right inside the red box. Oh, right okay. Back. Yes. What was that? What were you were using your phone a bit ago? Oh, talking to dispatch, asking him some questions. Because I called the dispatch and they said you didn't call the dispatch. <laughs> Like I literally got it live on YouTube. You didn't call the dish, but I was trying to get a recording of your uh, that, conversation. That is, that's not over the radio frequency. That's over the telephone. I mean, just saying because the your your policy states that you're you're supposed to use your phone only whenever your radio is not working and your radio is clearly working. You're gonna have to show me that on the policy. Oh, I, I I got I read your policy back and forth, my man. Oh man, I got you guys on a good one. Okay. But I'm just saying, yo. All right. You know, you're talking to Casey Camera Boy, man. No, not just any civil civilian here. That in a new, sorry. The same. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Dude. Well, I'm never against being corrected, sir. Yeah, that's good though. I'm just doing my job. That's all. That was the longest stop ever. Thirty minutes already, man. Oh, well, there's a lot of information. I'm gonna charge you per second. <laughs> hey, hundred bucks a second. There's a lot of information I gotta go through. Right. Especially when you have all kinds of special suspension reasons and whatnot. <laughs> it just takes a while. Oh, man. So here is your I actually had a deja vu that you guys were pulling me over, though. A day job? Yeah, deja vu. Like, I had a dream or something that you guys pulled me over and it happened. Yeah, so. That's oh. good, though. I mean, the I mean, just know the longer the video, the longer you make the video, the more ads I can put it, the more money I can make. This is probably going to pay that ticket in. His ticket oh, hey. in. Making an honest living, right? Oh, let me tell you that, man. You should do YouTube. I invite you to do YouTube with me. And trust me, you're gonna want to quit being a cop. <laughs> I tell you so that, this man. This is the one I have to worry about, right? The ticket, not this one. I'm sorry. Not this one. This is not a ticket in court. No, that's not a ticket. That's just verbal, basically notification. Yeah, because the dates already, they're already old. I already fix them. All of these. Party it's has it's to still saying that it's active. Those are those dates right there are saying when. Yeah, they they, when I uh, they were not active, I fixed it. I'd still say that. I've been a long time. I called them and I don't know why they still haven't removed them. Yeah, that means that they have not removed them because we don't have any further information other than yeah. that. That's all through the DMV, sir. Okay. And the serial license, by the way. We'll all right. All righty. If you have any questions, sorry. If you have any questions for the court, just give them a call. The, all the information at the bottom of the ticket. Okay, right. but if okay. I could pay, I could pay over the phone, right? Because it's nah, too far come and pay me. him in pennies, dude. That is, that's up to you. You'd have to work that out with the court, okay? okay. I'll get you the pennies, homie. Don't trip. Right. Okay, all right. I'll get you the pennies. Right. We'll make, we'll make their life miserable. So they hate you, man. That's all up to you. <laughs> make sure you be careful pulling back in the yeah. truck. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. All right, later. All right. Well, that's it, Casey Cameron boy. Public records request now.